Yo, what's going on? I'm, I'm back with another video. Um, this is me recording right after I did the, the Lakers trades that they need to make. And after you do the Lakers, it only makes sense for you to do the Clippers, right? Uh, so, yeah, we're going to we're going to get right into this. Um, but before we get into it, like I say all the time, leave a comment. I mean, like, comment, subscribe and share. Turn on your post notifications. Leave a comment section in the com I mean, leave a ah. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get into this. Uh, the Clippers, you know, they have their two-headed monsters in Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, and then they have Marcus Morris off the bench, Patrick Beverly, Lou Will, Serge Ibaka, uh, Luke Kennard, Vika Zubac, Patrick Patterson, Nicholas Batum. Honestly, they have a pretty solid roster. I'm not going to lie. They get production from a lot of players, especially Nicholas Batum, a guy who hasn't been playing meaning, meaning, meaningful minutes in the league for probably almost three seasons. Uh, maybe since his whole tenure with the Hornets, he hasn't been playing meaningful minutes because they haven't been a good team. Um, but he's, for the most part, he's going to be safe in this video when it comes to trades because his contract is so low, you know, it won't really, it won't really be able to get you anything. Um... So and also I just I just like his fit on the Clippers, you know, just three and D guy. Um, but yeah, obviously you can see the Hornets over here. The Hornets are going to be the first team that we'll be trading with in this video. So uh, yeah, man, let's uh, let's get uh, right into it. Uh, so the first person that we're going to send over to the Hornets is Patrick Beverly, and we're going to send over Luke Kennard. We're going to send Patrick Beverly and Luke Kennard. We're going to send those guys over there. Two, I feel like Luke Kennard is a pretty valuable piece. A, a nice shooting. Uh, God, that's crazy. I, I just saw something that just blew my mind. Um, but Luke Kennard is a, is a good shooting. A shooting guard. He, he, can, shoot the, he can shoot the rock. Uh, he, can, he can actually create a little bit. But yeah, Patrick Beverly, Luke Kennard. And we're going to send Terry Rozier, former Celtic over to the Clippers and the Clippers will also have to give up one of their plethora of second round picks because they don't have any first but they'll send over a few seconds they'll send over let's just say they send over theirs from this year trade that there trade uh, a future second trade a future second over to to them um, and yeah this is going to be the base trade for the first trade with the with the new uh, new orleans the charlotte hornets and we're gonna try this out see what it does it's a success it says the clippers wins decrease by 18 percent but you know these machines man uh you can't really take them too seriously they think luke Kennard and patrick beverly are gonna increase the hornets wins by eight yeah this will be the final trade um we're gonna get right into the next one let's do it uh shoot ha <laughs> uh we're gonna do a trade with the indiana pacers once again i did one with them in the last video with the lakers but we're going to send over uh Pat patrick beverly we're going to send over he's may surprise some of y'all but we're going to send over lou williams as well we're gonna keep lou Kennard this time we're gonna send patrick beverly and lou williams over to the indiana pacers in exchange clippers will receive malcolm brogdon they will still receive him and let's see let's just see what this will do just straight up it's a success like i thought it would be it's a success um but could could they get more no they're not gonna want to give up uh doug mcdermott they're not gonna want to give up tj mcconnell then it's like what's your guard rotation we're sending Ma we're, uh the clippers receive malcolm broad brogdon and aaron holiday in exchange for lou will patrick beverly and terrence man honestly yeah and and two future seconds two future seconds um this uh next year second and the, and the year after portland second um you get lou will he allows you to still be competitive uh at least to the, the pacers capability um, of being uh, competitive um, Yeah, Lou Will gives you scoring off the bench as always Patrick Beverly, he gives you physicality He gives you uh, a great defensive mindset You uh, throw him out there And he can shoot You know, if you can't leave Patrick I mean, you would leave him open But, you know, he can shoot the ball here and there He's a, he's a pretty alright shooter from three And you get Terrence Mann You get a young piece um, 
you could uh, honestly Terrence Mann you don't really need to throw him in this I guess you could just throw him in here for the for the hell of it but I just threw him in here just so it would make the cap work actually no Patrick Bev and Lou Will made the cap work this is just you know making it a little bit more you know uh favorable for the Clippers when it comes to you know not going over you know a, the cap um so yeah this will be the second trade i feel like the clippers should do we're gonna get right into the third one the last and final team for this video that the clippers should try and make a deal with is the toronto raptors and with the toronto raptors i'm pretty sure you guys know where this is going um considering the trend that has happened through this video um they're gonna try and receive Kyle Lowry. You're gonna send over Patrick Beverly. You're gonna send over Lou Will once again. And you may have to send over Luke Kennard just to make that work off the base. It failed again. Remove $1.2 million from your roster. And we could do that with ease. You throw in Terrence Mann. It's a lot, but Kyle Lowry is making a lot, so you have to throw in a lot. Um, 1.2. Yeah, so that means I can't even throw anything else out there to him. Or you could maybe throw in, I don't know, undo that, throw in a Patrick Patterson. And then maybe you could probably snag, I don't know. No, they're going to want to keep on Anobi. You could probably get somebody like a DeAndre Bembry, who wouldn't actually be bad. Or Terrence Davis, but I could see somebody like a DeAndre Bembry. Let's try, let's try Terrence Davis. Your second and same Portland second. Let's try this. It's a success. Yeah, this will be the final trade I will be doing for the Clippers. The Clippers get Kyle Lowry, Terrence Davis. In return, the Raptors get Lou Will. He's coming back home. Patrick Patterson. He's coming back home to the uh, to the Raptors. And they get Patrick Beverly and they get Luke Kennard. This allows the Raptors to, you know just you know just get right into the inevitable um this team is the way this team's set up they're not set up to win a championship this year they're not set up to win a championship next year so i feel like in a way kind of, for the raptors this is this allows you to start doing a slight i don't want to say rebuild but it would definitely allow you to start doing a retooling because you already have solid pieces very solid pieces actually in uh fred van vliet and pascal siakam uh siakam yeah iffy on him but it, you also you already have him you have uh van vliet you have ananobi you have norman powell you have a lot of players malachi flynn um uh, aaron baines you have a lot of players that uh that you can uh that you that you can work with so yeah this would be and for the clippers obviously you get another point guard uh championship experience playoff experience and you know you get terrence davis he's a reliable uh he's a pretty good three-point shooter um but the bulk of this deal is the cal Lowry. you have a guy who you know who can who just brings it on both ends of the floor he scores the ball he he can shoot for three well he's a good playmaker um uh he's you know he's a dog on defense hound on defense actually uh, dog isn't doing him justice but this allows the clippers to have once again the trend throughout this video is the clippers getting a point guard you know because that's what they wanted throughout the entire season a solid point guard that you know that they can rely on reggie jackson is cool but kyle Lowry is 10 times better for the clippers than um uh just having reggie jackson would be you know uh so and they can also go out into the the buyout market and sign somebody like a george hill uh isn't a crazy pickup i don't feel like but you could definitely sign him um i don't know who's a free agent right now honestly but um or who would be a free agent in the buyout market but yeah this is this is my final trade for the los angeles clippers uh and i'm gonna get out of here man as always i appreciate you guys for watching like comment subscribe and share turn on your post notifications leave a comment in the comment section down below I'm going to get out of here, man. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.